Mr Mayor, um, as Assemblymember Bacon just outlined, over your overall um, environment budget is due to drop by 4.4 million in comparison to last year. That's a 29% drop, and it's going to fall a further 3 million the year after. Now, you declared a climate emergency on the 11th of December. How do you square this substantial cut in your environment budget with the climate emergency? Well, Chair, I think you're, the, the, through you, I think the Senator was making the classic mistake of working in silos. And so one of the things we've sought to do in relation to the environment is make sure we leverage in other budgets that the GLA is responsible for. I'll give you just one example. Uh, uh, the TfL are spending uh, close to £750 million pounds in relation to measures around improving the air, which has a knock-on benefit around uh, carbon, for example. Some cities talking about, talk about banning diesel. One of the dangers of saying we're going to ban diesel is people are driven towards driving petrol. Now, we know, for example, uh, 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 petrol vehicles emit 15% more carbon than diesel vehicles. So what we don't want to do is, is to drive people away from diesel back to petrol. So because of the TfL 750 million pounds investment in improving air quality, rapid charging points, uh, low emission bus zones, ultra low emission zone, that's assisting in the environment agenda and assisting in uh, carbon emission. Also last year, you'll be read towards the end of uh, last year in December, literally a month ago, I announced an additional 23 million pounds, which you for some reason didn't mention in your question. The 23 million pounds goes towards a diesel scrappage scheme for micro businesses. Now, why is that important? Because Mayor, if we can I just Can I just interrupt here a moment? The, the assembly motion that I proposed called for you to declare a climate emergency and asked you to draw up a plan with the actions needed to make London carbon neutral by 2030. That's so that you can ask the government for the powers and the funding that you need to address it. So what I'm saying is, why is there no money in your budget to draw up this climate emergency plan? Well, that, that wasn't, the, with respect, Chair, that wasn't the first question that was asked. The first question that was asked was, why is there being a, why is there being a cut in the budget? And I was, I was, I was correcting. Yes, and, and thank I was, you. I, I do appreciate you're giving a lot. You are putting money into good things for the well, environment. Well, but um, well, if you accept that you, there was an error in your question, I'm willing to move on. But there was an error I, in the question. I'm happy to, happy to do that. Now, the, your on. second question is in relation to, in relation to why don't we do the work required uh, to get to zero carbon by 2030 rather than 2050. And the short answer is that we've got the most detailed plans of any city in the world how we get to zero carbon by 2050, independently verified uh, uh, by, by the C40 and uh, others. That detail still shows uh, that only uh, less than half of the work required can be done by City Hall. The remainder needs a significant uh, devolution from government in both powers and uh, resources, which the government so far seem unwilling to do. Now, in, in, light, in the light of the fact that government's unwilling to give us the powers and resources to get to zero carbon by 2050, it begs the question why we think they'll be willing to do so by 2030. Mr Mayor, if you don't fund a 2030 climate emergency plan, you won't know what London needs to do, and you won't be able to ask government for the powers and the money to do it. So without having a plan, I'm, all I'm asking you to do, I'm not asking you to fix everything, just to make that plan so that we know what London actually needs to do. Now, at last week's Mayor's Question Time, I asked you to bring forward your carbon reduction targets from 2050 to 2030. And at the very end of the session, you said, and I quote, we can do the work in relation to what's needed by 2030, and that work is taking place. You, you said it here last week. Now, if you've pledged to do that work, don't you think it would be good to back it up with funding for a plan? Well, look, I don't want to intend to repeat myself, but we have a detailed plan to get to zero carbon by 2050, which the government's not delivering on. Mm. The question you're asking is why not do further work on a plan for 2030? Yep, absolutely. Right? Because you're an internal optimist and you think this government will, even though they failed to fund a 2050 plan, no, will fund a 2030 I'm, plan. The I'm, short answer I'm is... I'm asking you because London needs to be protected from this risk. London, you know, we could be a world-leading city we are. if we, we are by going to 2050. But the IPCC report told us that we have less time than we expected and we need to be thinking about moving forward to 2030. All I'm asking is for a plan so you know what needs to happen and what government should be actually giving to London and to you in terms of powers and resources. Well, look, the, the, the short answer... Chair is, look, I, we, I don't see uh, the role of mayor of being a researcher or an academic for the sake of doing so. It's about, it's about action. 
Absolutely. And one of the reasons uh, why I spend a lot of time lobbying the government is to try and get action in relation to addressing mm. the issue of uh, climate change. The short answer in relation to how we get from 2050 to 2030 is for the government to give us more and quicker. It's not rocket science. Indeed, but you now, need that work. plan. You need to fund the plan so that you know what needs to be done to reach by 2030. I think, I think, I think the question, well, well Ch Chair, the, the, the question that's been asked by some member is for us to spend resources doing further work, knowing that the government's failing to deliver on the work we've already done in, to 2050. In, I'm not against going to zero carbon by 2030. In fact, independent experts have said how excellent our plans are. We are world leaders. And so, look, I'm really happy to look at any plans members of the Assembly have in relation to getting to zero so carbon by 2030. So, Mr Mayor, is that a no I've, that you don't want to fund that plan? No, I, no. I'm out of time for my questioning, so is that a yes or a no? Well, Chair, the point I've made is we've got detailed plans to get to zero carbon by 2050, independently verified as world leading. If other cities have uh, plans that have been costed to get to 2030 zero carbon that the government will support, of course I'm looking to that. Thank you. Okay.